Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will learn about Lithium Bromide Absorption Refrigeration System, along with its different parts and functions. So, let's get into the topic. The Lithium Bromide Absorption Refrigeration System, is also known as LIBR Absorption Refrigeration System. Where, LIBR is the short form of Lithium Bromide. Now, whenever we talk about refrigeration process, the first thing we need is, a refrigerant or coolant. We can think of a refrigerant as the messenger or traveler. Because, refrigerant is the actual carrier or medium of heat exchange throughout the whole refrigeration cycle. Here, in lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system, lithium bromide is used as the absorbent. And we use water as a refrigerant or coolant for this lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system. So, the lithium bromide works as an absorbent, and its function is to absorb water. Whereas, water is the refrigerant, so, water gives the cooling effect in lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system. Now, let's look into the major parts and components, and basic working procedure of lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system. First of all, here we have an absorber. Inside this absorber we have a solution of lithium bromide, and water. Now, beside this absorber, there is a pump. Using this pump, we will pump this solution of lithium bromide and water from this absorber to this generator. So, the function of this pump is to transfer the solution from the absorber to the generator. Now, when the solution of lithium bromide and water reaches the generator, here, we have a gas burner. And, using this gas burner, we provide flame and heat to this solution of lithium bromide and water inside the generator. So, the function of this gas burner is to provide heat to the generator, and when heat is applied to this solution, water is converted to vapor. And when water from this solution turns into vapor, only lithium bromide is now left in the generator and accumulated here. Then, the generator sends this lithium bromide back to the absorber, through this connecting pipe. After that, Connected to the generator we have a condenser. Now, from the generator, this high pressure water vapor will be passed forward, and sent to the condenser through this connecting pipe. When high temperature high pressure water vapor enters this cold condenser, then the condenser absorbs the heat from the water vapor, and converts it into liquid. In practical use, the condenser cannot convert 100% of this vapor into liquid, and there will be a mixture of liquid with partial vapor, most of it will be liquid and some of it will be partial vapor. But, the prime purpose of the condenser is to condense this water vapor, from vapor to liquid. This condenser can be water cooled, or cooled by any other substance from an external source, which will liberate the latent heat of this vapor coming into the condenser, and thus condensing keeps happening. After that, these condensed liquid will enter this pump. The pump will send this liquid through this throttling valve. We can also call it an expansion valve. Now this high pressure liquid, coming from the pump, will be expanded inside this expansion valve. We know that when expansion occurs, the pressure between the molecules decreases considerably, thus the temperature falls. So, this high pressure liquid will be expanded into low pressure, low temperature liquid. Thus, here we get very cold, chilled, low temperature liquid coming out of the expansion valve. Then, this liquid will be passed over to the evaporator. We all know that, the main cooling effect, or refrigeration effect always occurs in the evaporator. So, when this low pressure, very cold, chilled, low temperature liquid will enter the evaporator coils, it will absorb all the heat present in the surface of the evaporator coils. By absorbing all the heat from the surrounding surface of the evaporator coils, this cold chilled water will turn into low pressure vapor inside these coils, and the surrounding surface of the evaporator will become cold by losing the heat to this liquid. Thus the cooling effect or refrigeration effect has occurred. After that, this low pressure water vapor will leave the evaporator, and enter the absorber again through this connecting pipe. Then again, this low pressure water vapor will form a solution with the lithium bromide present in the absorber. The pump will again send this solution to the generator where the water and lithium bromide will be separated again by heat and the whole process, or whole cycle will keep repeating again and again. Thus refrigeration will be happening continuously in the evaporator. So, 
This is how a lithium bromide absorption refrigeration system works. Thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, subscribe to my channel Academic Game Tutorials for more updated videos.